a time of great changes is upon you. You are growing, evolving, and becoming more of your natural self each and every day. Just as the seasons change outside, inside of you, great changes are also occurring. Many people, as the seasons change, get busy with cleaning and cleansing their homes of the dust and grime of the season that is saying goodbye. They reorganize their homes, let go of things that are no longer useful for different reasons. And all this cleaning that is being done around the home can also be done internally as well. You too can sweep out the cobwebs of uncertainty, discord, and disharmony. No one else can give you a cloudless clear like mind. This is something that can only happen when you take the time to cleanse your busy mind by adopting greater flexibility, positiveness, and creative thinking habits. Remember, what you think of you, you become. Cleansing the mind can be a challenge, and it is something we urge to be done not just when the seasons outside are changing. You may go many many seasons on the inside, and that is not uncommon dear ones as it is expected with all the positive changes you are applying each day. When you finally allow yourself to let go of all the junk that you have been clinging to over the years, it will feel as if a great big weight has been taken off your shoulders and you release a huge sigh of relief from your lips. Letting all your mental clutter go is healthy. It removes confusion, disorder, and permits you to drop any differences you had with another. Breathe in love, exhale peace. No one person can make you feel at peace or promote harmony and balance into your life. This is something only you can do. The effort you apply to the internal cleansing of yourself, will demonstrate just how much you care, how much you love and respect yourself. Nothing is ever going to be completely perfect, but there is hope that after washing away all the discord from your mind, that what you have left will be clarity, and this newfound clarity will bring you to more, long-lasting experiences with joy and happiness. Being complete is not about being perfect, dear ones. It's all about being whole-minded and accepting who you are, as you are, being accountable for where you are in life, and making plans that you are willing to stick to, to make improvements to where there is weakness. As the cooler winds blow, open yourself up and let go of the worries on things you have no control over. Any change you want to bring to the world, starts with you. Being all filled up with emotional attachment and animosity will not bring you the best and most positive outcome. When you let go of the troubling emotions that tends to cause upset, you free yourself and liberate yourself from the clutches of disharmonic residue. Sweep that mind and give yourself the gift of renewal. After every cleansing of your total self, including the mind, your perception will be as new as that of a baby. When you look out around you, the world will seem all brand new, and it is this newness, this freshness that we encourage you to commit to maintaining. When your mind is fresh, your perceptions are not influenced by anything other than purity of mind that is one with the purity of your heart. Believe dear ones that with enough hope and faith, peace-filled happiness is yours for the taking. You might need to do a little work to get there, but after all the effort, after all the moans and groans, you will appreciate what you have accomplished and understand that nothing external can bring the changes you want for yourself. Your changes, the ones you wish to see evolve, must come from you, from you looking inside yourself, being truthful and honest to what is there, and willing to clean out what doesn't belong, and rejoice in the beauty of your own energetic self, and let your goodness shine wherever you go. As we come to the end of this week's transmission, Think about all that you let into your life, that includes mental clutter. Now, as you think about this, discern of all that you have gathered during the season that is saying goodbye, what is it that you can let go? Are there heavy feelings that are not serving the highest of good? Are you carrying emotions around that have the potential of becoming destructive? Have you made any positive changes? And if you have, think about those changes and how they make you feel. Your feelings dear ones, even your emotions, have much to tell you of yourself. If there is anything you discover that doesn't belong in your life, regardless if it's a thought, feeling or intention, 
then it is up to you dear ones to sweep it out with love and gratitude for the lessons it has brought and that you are ready for new experiences that will help to continue the transformation of you. And so it is.